It is an honor to introduce an outstanding American leader, a woman who has served this country with great distinction. She was the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development in the Gerald Ford administration. She served as the U.S. Trade Representative for President George H. W. Bush. In that critical role, she was the primary negotiator for the North America Free Trade Agreement, for which she was presented La Orden Mexicana del Águila Azteca, the highest honor awarded to non-citizens by the Mexican government. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome the co-chair of the Inter-American Dialogue and chair and CEO of Hills and Company, Ambassador Carla Hills. Well, thank you, Elia, for a lovely introduction. I'm delighted to be here this evening with such an impressive group of honorees and of guests. I want to thank every single person in this room. You are essential to what the Inter-American Dialogue seeks to accomplish. I also want to thank Michael and the incredible team that he has put together for the leadership, hard work, and dedication that have helped make the Dialogue what it is today. For 35 years, the Inter-American Dialogue has worked to shape the policy debate on critically important issues to nations in the Western Hemisphere. Its focus includes rule of law, education, energy, climate change, our relations with Asia, security, migration, development, and more. It is an impressive membership covering the spectrum of politics, business, and academia that gives it unrivaled convening power which enables it to bring together public and private opinion leaders from across the hemisphere to inform, facilitate understanding, and build cooperation with the aim of advancing democratic governance, social equity, economic development throughout the region. Interestingly, it is the only organization among the top 50 listed think tanks that focuses primarily on issues that affect a single region of the world. Since 2010, the dialogue has been ranked annually in the top 2% of think tanks in the renowned University of Pennsylvania's Global Think Tank Index. And this year, Project Mag uh, Magazine, a respected British publication, presented the dialogue with its The One to Watch Award. The dialogue was founded 35 years ago by co-chair Saul Linowitz, a U.S. diplomat, and Galo Plaza, former president of Ecuador in the midst of Latin America's horrific debt crisis that had been aggravated by two oil shocks in the Falkland Island conflict and wars in Central America. The dialogue's policy analysis, communication, convening power, made a positive contribution then, and it continues to make a highly constructive contribution with respect to the serious economic, governance, and social challenges that we face today. My hope is that every single one of you will support, in the years ahead, this invaluable organization. And we have prepared a video to describe some of the dialogue's contributions, past and present. So let me close by thanking you for joining us tonight and to invite you to turn your attention to the video and ask the video to begin. Thank you so much. <laughs> 